back to the Arsenal bunk camp. Here is Seb. Um, obviously, got him on the preview today. Seb for every Arsenal, a massive game. Uh, we've seen the lineup. It's what we predicted. Yeah, definitely. What, 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 what you predicted? Well, it's good because it means hopefully we go on the front foot, and these are the type of games that we have to just save the game for. And just go for it. If we do that, then we should be all right. I definitely, definitely agree. Hopefully, we can get the three points. And, we uh, need them. I'm confident. I'm confident. Yeah. Uh, very strong lineup. Very attacking lineup, which is nice to see, especially at home. We need to make this as a fortress this year. We want to get as high as we can in the table. So, come on, you Reds. Come on, you Reds. That wasn't the best. That was a terrible day. <laughs> and I don't know exactly what role you were in. It was raining as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a horrible, horrible day. Uh, what's your prediction for tonight, mate? Same as Brighton. Well, I didn't predict this for Brighton, but I think it will be a nil-nil draw. I'm sorry. It's not negative, but I'm just being realistic. Why nil-nil? Why I'm just saying how it is because Vieira will come to the Emirates and do a job on Arteta. I've been saying it all weekend. He will be desperate, desperate to come away with something tonight, and he'll do just that. Palace are such a well-organized team. Uh, they're getting nervous now. Can they're going to get something. We're not good enough to, to beat them. Honestly, I really believe that. Nil, nil. I hate to say it. Hopefully, you're on. Me. I hope Hopefully. to God I'm wrong. Hopefully, we win. Come on, you done it. for Palace, the first man, and back at the halfway line, easy. Palace getting into this game a bit more now. Um, it's a bit dull the game, but they're getting into it, which I'm good. Oh, what a save by Ramsdale. Another call of Palace. Oh, no, half time, half time, one nil Arsenal, and we needed half time to come there. So it's half time, Arsenal one, Palace nil. Um, if you ask me how the first 25 minutes went, I said we were excellent. The next 20 not so good. Uh, half time came at the perfect time for us, really. Uh, Palace really started to get out of their shell, come out a bit more. And we were looking like we were about to concede, but we didn't, which is a positive. So now hopefully Mikel gets into them half time. And hopefully we can get another goal to add to the tally, just to make us feel a bit more comfortable and win. But um, yeah, second half starting in about 10 minutes. Yeah, I think Mikel needs to get something into them. Because if we stay, if we come out the way we did, if, uh, the way we finished the half, then Palace is scoring early because we were not good. Hopefully, no, come out, great attitude, get that goal, and then hopefully just see out the game from there. Come on, you guys. Second half is about to start, and Sammy Lukonga will play Saka. Hopefully, no injury, but I do want Saka to play into the honest. High. With a shot! Oh! So close! Oh my god, that would have been unbelievable! So close by Pai! What a strike! Unfortunately, I can't see it on that screen it's not on, but what a strike! So close! Loads of space to throw to one into. Goes wide to two. Oh, what a save by Ramsdale. 
25 minutes to go, still 1 all. Need to step up a bit. Good football. Come on, man. Oh, corner. That's better, though. Corner. Come on. 20 minutes to go, corner ball. Head height. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Good ball. Good ball. Lacha. Oh, so close. Oh, Lacha. Oh. Should score a one on one. Come on. 18 minutes to go. Corner ball. Off the back. Chance. Shoot. Two one. Oh. Too easy. Four. Lacha. Where? He kicked us outside the box. Come on. Come on, Pepe. Or part A or Lacazette. Oh, what a move. Part A. That's the throw. Pepe, come on. Right. Good ball, one. Gabriel. Oh, wide. Right. It's disappointing, very disappointing. Just too much. About five minutes to go. Not good enough. Pepe, come on. Ball. Lacker. Oh, get him. How have we not scored? So close. Three and a half minutes to go. I don't know we're going to put it back. Pepe goes down. And no penalty given. I mean, not get those. Listen to the AR at least. But no play on. No foul. Mm. Not like absolutely whack Pepe, but clearly not. Gorsh McRo. Laka. Ah. Come on. Only like two minutes to go now. Moves the way. Doesn't look like it's going to be our day. Last chance. Come on. Martinelli, come on. Call the ball. Come on. Come on. Pepe, come on. Go oh. deliver. The ball. Gabriel. Oh. Taking the draw at 5 to 8, Done it in the end. So full time, I'm with Seb again. And I, 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 we just spoke, obviously. And apart from the first 25 minutes, we were dreadful, I think. And um, didn't deserve to draw, which we should have lost. Um, you, obviously, you're happy as a fan that you score that last minute goal and stuff, but absolutely shocking. Um, and you're feeling a bit bad for Palace for not having all three points, but that's football. And, some, and sometimes we might have a game this season where we deserve to win and we let it go right at the end. But what do you make of the game today, sir? Oh, absolutely appalling. The thing is, again, this is a second match in a row where we've been very fortunate to get a draw because the same problems we did against Brighton. We just we just stop we just stop playing and we don't there's not enough creativity. The goal the goal scoring form is, is worrying. Like I, I told you in the preview once, he's coming back to to haunt us yeah. again because maybe the 4 3 3 isn't working yeah, like we you said. About that. Because about that, yeah. The way they they they, they, they outplayed us in the midfield was, yeah. was terrible, it's terrible to yeah, watch. Yeah, we did really we, get outplayed, and especially because as well, we looked so, so, we, so, we look so, look so confident for the game, thinking, you know what, if we, their midfield don't look as strong as ours, let's, let's destroy them. Well, we're going to be coming up against better teams in the next couple. Villa are better against yeah. Paris, and so are Leicester. Yeah. We can't play anything like how we did in the last two games. Definitely well, agree, and now we're in for another. Villa has to, be, I mean, it had to be three points anyway, really, but yeah. has to be three points without a doubt. These we are the kind of games we can't slip up, yeah. especially if you want to be game back into yeah. Europe. It, it, it's, 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 I, I, I was saying to you as well, it's typical Arsenal to let these games draw them, and then you look back at the end of the season and you go, oh, Palace at home when we drew 2 all. That's when you look back and you go, this is the game we should be winning, but we haven't. We came out with a draw, very disappointing. But then, unfortunately, for the point, 
Same as Brighton. Same as Brighton. Fortunate for a point. The thing is, the points don't move you up yeah, the table. Exactly. Only wins do. Exactly. We better not be going on another bad run because the last season when we went on that horrible one, we stayed. We, it was difficult to come back from. That. Season yeah. before, we can't afford that. We've got to get back to winning, winning ways fast. And if things do not improve, then we really have to start. Look, at, we do have to start looking at the manager. Yeah. I definitely agree. Loads and loads of questions to be asked from everyone at the club. But thank you guys for watching the video. Um, it's a disappointing end to the video, but here we go again on Friday. Hopefully we win. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, Seb, for coming on. And we'll see you very soon. Goodbye, guys.